more fit fam it's neek and we're back with another video so today we're going to be doing a hardcore leg routine it's like nah it's not hardcore this is actually a beginner's friendly leg routine but you guys are going to feel it today so be prepared to feel it today your legs are going to be burning by the end of this video let me show you guys what i'm doing before i go to the gym so i've been wearing my patch all day my thrive patch all day i'm gonna combine my patch today with thrive sculpt i love sculpt on leg days or arm days any day that i'm lifting weights because that helps with um lean muscle definition this is full of amino acids so it's all good for building your lean muscles the patch is good for energy keeps you going all day suppresses your appetite i love the patch though that's my one two combo for the gym anytime i'm ready to go so let's go ahead, let's jump right into the routine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys when you get back. So I love starting off with some form of cardio. I love this elliptical because it allows me to run in place, jog, and also do like a stepping motion that I'll show you guys in the next clip. I do this for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you don't have an elliptical, you can also do an, a treadmill at an incline, or you can even do the stairs. Here you'll see me transitioning from that jogging in place into doing the stepping motion. So the stepping motion allows me to work my quadriceps, which are the front of your thighs. You can get this same exercise completed by doing the inclined treadmill or you can do the Stairmaster. So you'll see me alternating between jogging and then doing that step in motion. Don't forget to stay hydrated and drink your water. So y'all, since we got a fresh set, look at my nails. Yeah, we can't mess those up. So since we got a fresh set, make sure that you go ahead and put on some lifting gloves to keep your hands nice, soft, and supple. Yeah, we may lift, but mm, we're girls. Keep those hands nice. So I always give myself a quick pep talk before I start lifting. This allows me to focus on making sure that the bar is positioned correctly on my back so it doesn't cause too much stress on my neck. This also allows me to so I make sure that my feet are shoulders width apart. After that, we're ready to start our squat. While you're doing your squats, be sure to focus on using your hamstrings and your quadriceps to push the weight of the barbell and your body weight back up. Make sure when you're taking a break that you're actually taking a break. You do not have to do stuff in this break time you do not have to keep your body moving. Go ahead and actually take a break and let your muscles relax. Okay, let's go ahead and get ready for it again. I love to do one, two, three up. This allows me to focus on actually pushing the bar up making sure that it's balanced, and then I take a few steps back, make sure that my feet are shoulder width apart, and then let's go ahead and jump right into our squats. When you go to squat down, make sure that you're almost like sitting in an invisible chair. So when you go to squat backwards, there's an invisible chair there, you're trying to sit on it, and then push up with your legs, back up and you're all set that's the perfect squat I love challenging myself to holding the bar when my quads are burning just to see how long I can do it for guys should be feeling it by now that's okay we're gonna jump right into the next exercise let's keep going of checking my balance with this so I'm gonna do a few lunges just to make sure that I'm balanced and that I am steady and ready for weighted lunges always check your balance because this will allow you to know how much weight you should add to your lunges if you should even add weight at all 
I'm using a 25 weight and let's jump right into it. When I first started these weighted lunges or lunges in general, I was so wobbly. I could not keep my balance at all and this is the best exercise because it also works your core strength because you do have to keep your balance. So since you have to maintain balance, it's working your core, working your thighs. So yeah, summer body, lunges are a must. We're gonna do 10 on each side, just alternating legs. And then after 10 for each side, we're gonna take a break. notice that sometimes I'll take a pause in between and then go back down. This is just so that I can catch my balance and I strongly encourage that you guys do the same. Now it's time for a water break so grab your water, look around, take your quick break and then let's jump right back into it. literally every set so grab your water and then let's jump to the next move so here I set up for my kettlebell deadlift so I did two weights on the side so that I get a little extra height so when I'm coming down I can have a deeper dip so the dip is pretty deep and then you have to lift it up from there by using your thigh muscles so you want to use your quadriceps your hamstrings literally all of your legs you want to use to push your body up to pull the kettlebell up know it's break time drink your water and let's jump right back into it if you have back or knee problems I wouldn't recommend going into as far as a dip I will recommend doing it on a flat surface where you're not leaning over as far um, to complete the dip but you are still going to work out your quadriceps and your hamstrings jumping right back into the non-modified version and we're gonna knock out 10 more know what time it is grab that water take your break and get ready for the next set I actually love this little machine for my calf raises if you do not have this machine or if you're even at home you can take two dumbbells on your shoulders and still do the same motion that you guys are going to see here in the video It's a real subtle motion, but it does help your calves, and this is perfect for getting ready to walk in some heels and then have those perfect legs this summer. I didn't even know I drank this much water, but this is a reminder for you, drink your water. last minute 
machine and that is the leg press but can we admire this body oh my god y'all can go deeper than this my legs was burning so i know y'all legs are burning yep part two make it deeper and let's go From making it all the way through i know you guys are feeling it so just let me know down below how you guys are feeling if you like the routine how many times a week you do it i want you guys to at least do this three times a week we're gonna build those muscles you cannot have meg knees without meg thighs you can't you can't do it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video bye